So round two of the video, this is what we're going to be working with tomorrow in class for our lab. This is called a spring scale. Um, and these are special ones that they have two sides. You can pull on this side. Um, and you can see the reading goes up. Um, this one goes from uh, 0 to 10 at the bottom. It says a, it's a 10 Newton spring scale. So you can pull and the reading goes up. You can also push on the end and the reading goes up as well. Um, notice there's a little spring inside that compresses when it gets pushed or pulled. That's why it's called a spring scale. Um, and a couple things about this. Uh, first of all, all spring scales have a little knob on them. Um, sometimes it's at the top, sometimes it's at the bottom. And this knob is for as follows. Like you notice like right now I'm not pulling on this thing and it doesn't say zero. It says like closer to one. This knob, if you turn it, um, will change where it reads. You can see this thing right here is moving up. So it'll change where it reads um, so that when nothing is pulling on it, it does actually say zero. You need to do this before you make any measurement that is like check that when nothing's pulling on it, that it does actually equal zero. The second thing is we have different types of these. This is a blue one that goes up to 2.5 newtons. When you get in the class, you can try pushing on this and pulling on this to compare what it feels like to pull with 2.5 newtons compared to what it feels like to pull with 10 newtons. Lastly, this yellow one goes up to 50 newtons. Um, and it, it actually, 50 newtons is a lot of force, like pulling, pushing or pulling on this, so it says 50 newtons is, is a lot. So you'll get to see all these when we work with stuff in class.